Hey everybody, your friendly neighborhood Strider here, and I'm back after a long hiatus. Did you guys miss me? I missed myself. Yeah, I've been getting back into Gotham City Impostors. I just bought the DLC, as you can see in this video. But, uh, I'm gonna spend, uh, another commentary to talk about the Steamy Punk and Rodeo Pirates DLC. And instead, I'm gonna talk about what I've been up to. What exactly has been keeping me from my hobby of recording gameplay and putting my voice behind it. So, basically, uh, I have a job. <laughs> For the longest time while I've been uploading YouTube videos in the past, I was completely jobless. I was just... I don't know how I got by on money. I saved up a lot of money from previous jobs, a lot of, a lot of temporary jobs, but for the most part, I was unemployed, just getting by with uh, money from jobs past. A lot of saving, a lot of penny-pinching. It also doesn't hurt the fact that I stumbled with my parents because I can't find a job that has to do with my degree. But you might be wondering, well, Strider, where are you working? Why are you tiptoeing around this issue right so much? Like, obviously, if you're working, you've got a job. you got to work someplace. And uh, actually, I work at Disneyland now. Disneyland Resorts, to be exact. I work at the Disneyland Resorts theme park which is kind of a big deal um yeah it is quite possibly the best job i have ever had since uh since my job working in a used video game store now that was a lot of fun because i love video games but this is just as good working at disneyland uh yeah i work in uh, california adventure i am uh, i am the store ops i pretty much run the stores i'm pretty much the face of Disneyland, you might see I'm responsible for, you know, register, customer service, guest relations, stocking, uh, pretty much anything to do with buying shit from Disneyland, that's, that's my duty, that's my duty. And I do it with great gusto because you get to interact with, uh, you get to interact with guests a lot. By the way, that's, uh, we don't call them customers at Disneyland, they are guests. And that makes sense. They are visiting our park. They are having fun. Even though I work in a location where I am selling stuff, it's not exactly our primary concern to sell them stuff. It, our primary concern is that we provide them with a good time. They've already shelled out money in order to get into our expensive park. They just want to enjoy themselves. And that is probably, well, it's not the biggest reason why I love working at Disneyland. It's certainly a big reason. Uh, Dis working at Disneyland the atmosphere is absolutely infectious. There is no such thing as a bad, you know, guest. I want to say customer because we're used to it, but there's no such thing as a bad guest at Disneyland. There are only a few who get a little frustrated, but that means they've had a lot of things line up in order to make their day really shitty. Even for even for guests who, you know, for example, I have a guest who wants to return an item because Oh no, it's broken or something like that. Even though I have guests like that every now and then, they're so understanding. This is Disneyland. Remember, I'm talking about working in the theme park where everyone is having so much fun in Disneyland. They, even if they're having a trouble, even if they're having a problem like uh, this keychain's broken. What the hell, man? They, there's so many guests are so understanding. It's like, oh, it's cool. I'm in fucking Disneyland. I, you know. This is not going to bring me down, and that makes that makes the process of working retail so much more fun. And not to mention the fact that yeah, I'm working in Disneyland. Every day is a good day. Just I don't know. And like moving away from what I actually do at Disneyland, you have to realize that Disneyland is a big deal. A lot of people work at Disneyland, and despite Disneyland being such a big business, you know. Disneyland's not just a park, it is a brand, they are movies, they are uh, obviously merchandise. Despite the fact that Disneyland is obviously staffed by more than hundreds, more than 500, probably close to a thousand people at the park alone, I feel appreciated. I don't feel like I'm a cog in a wheel. Like, uh, let's see, one of my last jobs was uh, working at, I sold... I sold, no I didn't sell, I, I worked seasonal, folding clothing for a clothing store, it, it was okay, but, you know, 
I only went as far as making clothes, making sure customers were having a good time. That's all I did. Not a lot of appreciation. The guest is gonna forget you as soon as they walk out, even though I might have provided them with the absolute best day ever, the best service ever. At the end of the day, I'm just the guy who folds clothes and runs the register over there, and you know, the management and my employees might, they might be, we might be on good terms, but in hell, we are on good terms. I'm a pretty cool guy, but not to toot my own horn, but I'm really cool. But, uh, yeah, I mean, just work at a clothing store. We tailor and everything. That's all we really do. But at Disneyland, it feels like I matter. It's like, I don't know. It might help the fact that we all wear name tags, and we know all, know all each other by name because of that, but still. I don't know. Something about working at Disneyland makes you really have a sense of camaraderie with your fellow compatriots. I mean, working at Disneyland, you work in a team. Like, you know, I work in a store. You know, if you've ever been to Disneyland, it's more than one store. I work in, you know, sorry, I work at, uh... Sideshow shirts off the pier it recreates the feeling of a California pier. I work at that store. I have several. I work in a team, and I we have leads, people who tell us, help us, tell us know what to do at the store. Like, Marcel, today you are going to work the register, and in half an hour you're going to work the floor so that guests feel appreciated and you can answer their questions. And despite despite them leading an entire team of maybe I don't know eight people. In that store alone, the leads, by the way, are probably responsible for other nearby stores in the area. I mentioned I work in a sort of recreation of Californian peers. Well, there's more than one store in this section, and the lead I'm talking about might be responsible for also the stores on every end of Paradise Pier, which is where I work. I work on one side, there's another store on the other side, and one person is probably responsible for 25 or 35 people working across three stores. That's a lot. This is a big operation, like I said. And yet, I just feel so uh, appreciated. I mean, like, if I work for a while without a break, my lead will come and like, Hey, have you taken your break yet? You gotta, you gotta take your break. You don't wanna screw up your day or anything like that. Man, thanks. It's like, I wasn't forgotten in this process. Working at Disneyland. Never mind the fact that I am fucking working at Disneyland. Every other day, I get to see little kids smile. I'm like, oh, this, this is great, Dad. Thanks for bringing me. Oh, what's, oh my God, is that Pluto? I want that. I mean, last month, oh my God, last month, uh, I was working at Sideshow Shirts, the place I was mentioned that I work mostly. I was working the night shift. Uh, it was around 8 o'clock. Uh, World of Color, the water show was going on outside. And a little girl, probably five years old, she is in, I'm working the plushie area, and she just, like, she just can't reach this penguin toy off of a shelf that is, like, ten feet above. And, like, I, I just reach up, not even reach up, I just, it's at my waist, I grab it, and I hand it to her. And she just, with the tiniest, cutest voice ever, she's like, thank you. Like, I don't even want to ruin the moment by trying to impersonate a little girl, a little five-year-old girl. She just looked up at me and said, thank you. And then later, she asked, what's the penguin's name? And I told her, this is the penguin from Toy Story. I told her, his name is Weezy. And she just took, she was just so excited. She found out the name of this penguin and she just buried her face in a plushy penguin. It was the most fucking adorable thing my god, if if that doesn't get you right in the heart, then you obviously do not care about anything in this life. It is just the most adorable thing ever. It's like, I don't even need... I mean, among... I, I get perks being able to take friends into Disneyland and getting discounts. And seeing children's faces light up like that is a perk in itself. It's just amazing working at Disneyland like that. And so, obviously, after saying all that... I mean, this is a job where I don't think to myself, oh god, I have to go to work. I'm gonna have to dedicate five, six hours of my life in order to take care of retail. I won't have time to do anything else. I won't be able to play video games, won't be able to make videos, write articles. Oh god, work. 
God damn it, work. Disneyland, I'm like, oh, gotta go to Disneyland, gotta work. I'll be back later. I was like, I don't have a problem. I don't, I don't think I'm going to work. I'm just thinking, I'm going to Disneyland, and I'm going to have a fucking good time at work. Because that's how great it is now. And despite all that, well, I'm still going to leave the house and say, I'm going to work. And despite how much I said how much I love the job, I'm still going to work. And hence, why I haven't found a whole lot of time in order to play games or before, and blah, blah, blah. So, hopefully, being a little more conscious about my uploads, I'll be able to upload a little bit more now that I'm finding some time in my gaps. So, this has been your friendly neighborhood spider. Talking about Disneyland. See you guys later. Go!